Hey everyone, this is Sean, and today I want to talk about Windows 10 and specifically how to optimize your experience as a touchscreen user on a Surface or any other Windows tablet. Things like tablet mode, um, how to use custom gestures to swipe between desktops, how to make apps full screen, hiding the taskbar, how to adjust the brightness with a swipe, uh, how to bring up Cortana, and a bunch of other stuff. So you definitely don't want to miss this video. Uh, so let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing I would recommend doing if you use a touchscreen or surface is to have the start menu be full screen. So in start settings, you'll see this setting right here, use start full screen. Now when that's turned off, then your start menu will be a lot smaller like this. And like I said, I don't think it makes sense. You're never gonna use this other space. So might as well just set it to be a full screen. Okay, great. So now I have a full screen start menu. These three lines at the top bring up some of the other options that you can have. And if you want to look at all apps, all you have to do is just swipe up from the middle here. And now you have all apps down over here. Okay. If you click on an alphabet, you can see uh, an alphabetic order. So you can touch on any letter to be able to see the apps that are in that alphabet. Now, if you're a touchscreen user, especially on Windows 10, you need to download this program from the Windows Store. It's called Touch Me Gesture Studio, okay? Touch Me Gesture Studio is awesome, and it's, in my opinion, essential if you're on Windows 10. It allows you to do a lot of cool things, all right? So do look at my video description. I include a link to Touch Me Gesture Studio. So in Windows 10, you have the ability to change your brightness here, but they only happen in increments of 25%. If you want something more continuous, you can set a gesture to slowly bring down the brightness and slowly bring up the brightness, just as if you're turning a knob, okay? So you can see up here, the brightness slider going up and down, okay? And this makes it nice to really customize your level of brightness. Uh, the other thing really nice about Windows 10 is its ability to have multiple desktops. So if you swipe from the side, you can see you can have multiple desktops. I can actually create a whole bunch of desktops. So here you can see I have my school desktop. I've got calculators, I've got my equations over here, I've got my uh, Word documents. I can also have a hobby desktop, you know, where if I don't want it to be cluttered, I just want to work on videos or my music, I can have that. Or maybe I just want something to have some fun, so a few web browsers open, maybe some games open. Now, I've set up this gesture to be able to swipe between the desktops, okay? So let me show you that. So again, you want to go into Touch Me Gesture Studio. The, the shortcut key for swiping between desktops is Windows Control Left and Windows Control Right. So if you have a keyboard, you can do that to swipe between desktops. I use Touch Me Gesture Studio to assign the three finger swipe right and the three finger swipe left. So now all of a sudden I can swipe really easy between multiple desktops. Now if you swipe in over here from the right left hand side, then you can see all your desktops down here and you can easily swap between desktops using that method as well. But again, you can use your three fingers to swipe between desktops and this just feels so natural. It feels so fluid and I just absolutely love it. Okay, another thing I've done with Touch Me Gesture Studio is Windows C, which brings up Cortana to listen to you. Okay, now I know you can uh, set Cortana to listen to you all the time by saying, hey Cortana, but I didn't want that. Uh, to me, the gesture makes it really easy. What do you think about Google now? It doesn't have much to say, but it's helpful. Uh, it's a pretty funny response, so let's try something else. Open Netflix, please. Sure, here's Netflix. Great, so you can see you can open uh, apps, it can, uh, you can answer, ask math questions, do anything on the fly, and having that gesture makes it really, really fast. Something else I wanted to show you is that in some of these uh, older apps, uh, what you can do you know, when you expand it, make it full screen, you can uh, swipe down from the top and you'll see this little uh, bar, okay? And when you swipe down, you can see some other options. Uh, you search, share, settings, app commands uh, will bring up the kind of the settings menu. So, so just to be aware of that, when your app is in full screen, you know, taking advantage of that little bar that comes down will allow you to have kind of greater control over that app. All right, now speaking of full screen apps, uh, the modern Windows 10 apps can be a little bit of a pain to use in full screen. So for example, here's the new Groove Music app that you can't actually make it so that it's completely full screen. Even in tablet mode, which I'm gonna talk about more 
in a second, uh, you can see that the taskbar is still down here. Okay, so watch what I'm about to show you. Three fingers swipe down. Boom, the taskbar is gone. I have a full immersive, nice full screen. All right, and then if I want the taskbar back, all I have to do is swipe down again, three fingers, boom, there's the taskbar. All right, so to pull off the taskbar trick, it's a little bit more tricky. You do need Touch Me Gesture Studio, but you also need something else called Auto Hotkey. See my video description for how to download that. And then you have to also download this uh, one file called taskbar.ahk, okay? And again, the link to that is in my video description. Then what this does is it gives you a keyboard command, control alternate. I think it's control alternate F and that keyboard command basically uh, hides and unhides the taskbar. All right, then you use touch me gesture studio to uh, make it so that the three finger swipe down or really whatever you want it to be uh, hides and unhides the taskbar. So if that seemed really complicated, don't worry. Just look at my video description and I explain everything there. Okay, the other thing I really miss about uh, Windows 8.1 is the ability to share from any screen. Now what I've done is I've assigned the five finger swipe left in Touch Me Gesture Studio to make that uh, share. And so now from any screen, I can just swipe left and you'll see this share menu come up and I can share whatever I have open, whether it's an app or whether it's a movie or a video or, or a, an article. I can just go and then uh, share whatever I'm looking at. Okay, last and also in my opinion least is tablet mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter into tablet mode. Okay, so now we're in tablet mode. Now you can see the taskbar loses a lot of the apps. Also in, uh, in tablet mode, you have no access to the desktop, no multiple desktops, and everything that you run will be in full screen. Uh, in my opinion though, I feel like tablet mode is unnecessary. I can get everything I want plus more outside of tablet mode. But that said, there are still a few things that you can do in tablet mode that you can't do outside of tablet mode and I'll, I'll show you a few of those things. Uh, for example, let's go ahead and open up this uh, music app. Uh, again, you see that black bar down there. I'm going to go ahead and hide that just so that it's full screen. Uh, what you can do is you can actually uh, swipe down from the side to close it if you want. So that's a feature in uh, tablet mode is swiping down. So that's uh, familiar from Windows uh, 8.1, but let's go and open that back up. Uh, you can also snap it to the side and have this split screen view. So let's go ahead and split these. So this again is a familiar interface from Windows 8.1, the ability to have this split screen view again. So this is something you can't get in desktop mode. You can only get in tablet mode. I said tablet mode was last, but actually there's one last thing I wanna say uh, this is kind of old news, it's been around since Windows 7, but if you didn't know, you can actually swipe up uh, from some of these on the bottom, uh, on the taskbar, and it can show you, you know, recent files as well as some other options uh, that you might have access to. Okay, and that was it. Uh, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like this video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.